Hey, welcome back to The Game Room. I'm stoked that you're here. Today we're talking about the classic rivalry between retro and modern games. Now, the biggest part of this entire conversation comes right down to what do you actually own? Something really interesting has been happening in the video game world in the past year with the seventh generation of consoles. For a lot of these games, downloaded updates are required to play them. This isn't anything new for anyone who's only just been gaming in the last 20 years. The majority of modern games require a day one patch or day one update to play. You click launch and you still can't play it because there's a day one patch to be downloaded. Why? Those physical copies of games are being sold in an incomplete format. Most of the game is on the CD itself, but to actually get that game to play, a day one update is required, an internet connection is required, and that leads me to the question of what do you actually own when it comes to physical video games on your shelves? In 2022, we saw Nintendo pull support for both the 3DS and the Wii U eShops. No! <laughs> no! Okay, so the Wii U eShop absolutely got the worst of it. All the icons are gone. And as of July 29th, 2024, Microsoft will pull support for their online marketplace too. Now we won't be losing the ability to patch and update those games, but we will be losing the ability to do things like use codes, codes that will open up things like map packs or extra content for games. This Gears of War game is a perfect example. The Gears of War 2 All Fronts pack that exists in this three pack compilation, well, that code that exists inside the game for that third part, that's completely useless as of the closure of the Microsoft Online Marketplace. So while this game looks great on my shelves, the add-on content for this game is no longer usable, and unless this is offered for sale on future Microsoft Marketplaces online, this game is really sort of incomplete. There is a whole other part of this conversation surrounding the Microsoft Online Arcade, and countless digital games will be lost forever unless they're sort of backed up and preserved by game collectors but what i'm really interested in today is the physical copies of games and their level of completeness when it comes to just popping it into your console and playing that game now there are some game collectors that are not worried about the closure of the microsoft online marketplace things will be backed up and preserved online it's just that they're still not available through the official avenues that we were meant to be able to play this game. How long can we realistically expect companies like Microsoft and Nintendo to offer those patches and game updates for? And one of my big questions is, when will they just stop offering the game updates altogether? Very likely if Microsoft ever did decide to stop offering those game updates, which is entirely possible, game preservationists would hopefully find a way to back those updates and patches up and save them for download through other less official avenues. But something about that just feels less interesting than owning an actual complete copy of a video game to me as a game collector. I know that anytime I want, I can grab a game off of the Super Nintendo shelf put it into my console and play it, and that game is complete, final, and finished exactly the way that the developers wanted it to be seen, and I own the entirety of that game 100%. Having to find workarounds and backdoors to download necessary parts of a game in order to play it is somehow just less appealing than owning a complete copy of a game on my shelves. And there are disadvantages and advantages. While games on the N64, for example, are complete copies, the graphics are less and the capabilities and storage of these sort of games just aren't what the Xbox 360 was capable of. And while the output power of the Xbox 360 is a lot bigger, storage is bigger, games are more robust, and graphics are definitely much more advanced, I really only own parts of these games, and whether or not those updates will always remain available is sorta of yet to be seen. 
As video game consumers and retro game collectors, I'm sure we've all sort of got an opinion on this. I'm gonna throw this over to friends and fellow YouTubers, Retro Rivals. Where's the rivals in Retro Rivals? You're about to find out right now. I would love to hear your opinion on this subject. They are the unofficial king and queen of the battle between retro and modern video games. So I wanna hear them sound off in their own video response to this one and let me know what you think about the battle between retro and modern and where the future of these modern games is going. And I wanna hear from you too. So sound off in the comment section, let me know. Are you starting to shy away from more modern consoles and just stick to games that you own complete copies of? Or are companies like Microsoft and Nintendo always gonna to continue to provide those day one patches and updates to games that we only really own part of? Hey, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around to the end. All the likes, comments, and subscribes go a long way into helping my channel grow. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.